A fully fueled Starship on the launch pad contains more than 2.7 million pounds of propellant, divided between liquid oxygen chilled to roughly negative 297 degrees Fahrenheit and liquid methane stored near negative 259 degrees Fahrenheit. Externally, the vehicle appears solid and still, but internally it behaves more like a dynamic fluid system than a rigid structure. The propellant inside is constantly moving, boiling, and redistributing mass as the vehicle experiences acceleration, vibration, and directional changes. If that internal motion were left uncontrolled, it would directly interfere with flight stability. One of the most critical but least visible systems preventing that outcome is controlled venting, which plays a major role in mitigating destabilizing cryogenic slosh. Starship's unprecedented size amplifies every fluid dynamics challenge. With a diameter of about 30 feet and tanks extending well over 100 feet in height, the vehicle holds immense vertical columns of liquid. When the engines ignite, Starship experiences longitudinal acceleration exceeding 1.3 g at liftoff, increasing to well over 3 g later in ascent. Any change in acceleration, even small steering inputs or structural vibrations from the engines, causes the propellant to respond according to its inertia. That response is cryogenic slosh, and at this scale it is not a secondary effect, it is a primary design constraint. In large cylindrical tanks, slosh develops natural motion patterns governed by tank radius, fill fraction, and gravity level. For tanks comparable to Starship's dimensions, the fundamental slosh frequency typically falls between 0.2 and 1.5 cycles per second. That range overlaps directly with the frequency range where flight control systems operate. When internal fluid motion couples with control responses, it can create a delayed feedback loop. The vehicle corrects its motion, the liquid responds late, overshoots, and forces another correction. If the slosh at energy is not damped quickly enough, oscillations can grow instead of diminishing. The destabilizing effect of slosh comes from mass redistribution, when hundreds of thousands of pounds of liquid oxygen or methane shift laterally by even a few inches, the vehicle's center of mass moves with it. Flight computers rely on accurate mass models to determine how much engine steering is required to maintain a desired trajectory. Slosh introduces uncertainty into that model. The result is not necessarily catastrophic, but it can reduce control margin, increase structural loads, and force engines to work harder than intended. Cryogenic propellants make this problem even more complex. Both liquid oxygen and liquid methane have very low viscosity, meaning they flow easily and resist natural damping. They are also stored extremely close to their boiling points. Even with advanced insulation, heat leaks into the tanks from the environment, structural supports, and engine interfaces. That heat continuously produces vapor bubbles. These bubbles change the effective density of the propellant and introduce compressibility into what would otherwise be a mostly incompressible liquid. Slosh in cryogenic tanks is therefore not just liquid moving back and forth. It is a coupled system involving liquid motion, gas compression, vapor formation, and pressure waves. Each of these elements can feed energy into the others. Without mitigation, this coupling can sustain oscillations far longer than guidance systems are designed to tolerate. This is where venting becomes essential and why it must be understood as an active control mechanism rather than a simple safety feature. Traditional thinking treats venting as a way to prevent tanks from exceeding pressure limits. On Starship, venting is deliberately integrated into the vehicle's fluid dynamics strategy. By controlling when and how gaseous propellant is released, engineers can influence pressure distribution, vapor content, and slosh damping inside the tanks. Inside a sealed tank, sloshing liquid compresses vapor on one side while expanding it on the other. That vapor behaves like a spring. When the liquid moves, the gas stores energy and then releases it, reinforcing motion. This spring-like behavior increases the persistence of slosh. Venting allows excess gas to escape, flattening pressure gradients and reducing the spring effect. In technical terms, venting lowers the system's resonance strength, causing oscillations to decay more quickly. Venting also addresses one of the most difficult aspects of cryogenic propellants, continuous boiling. 
As vapor forms, it creates pockets that expand and collapse as acceleration changes. These pockets can push on the liquid unevenly, injecting random forces into the system. By venting warmer vapor before it accumulates, Starship reduces vapor volume and maintains a more uniform mixture of liquid and gas. This uniformity makes the internal mass distribution more predictable, which is crucial for stable flight control. Another important contribution of venting is damping through momentum removal. When gas is vented, it carries momentum out of the tank. Although the mass flow rate is small compared to total propellant mass, the effect is cumulative. Over time, this momentum loss acts like a shock absorber for fluid motion. In a system containing millions of pounds of propellant, even small damping forces can significantly shorten the duration of slosh oscillations. The design of Starship's venting system reflects this complexity. Vents are carefully placed to avoid introducing unwanted rotation. An unbalanced vent could act like a small thruster, slowly twisting the vehicle and complicating control. To prevent this, vents are arranged symmetrically and aligned with the vehicle's main structural axis. The timing of venting events is equally critical. Vent too aggressively and tank pressure drops below optimal levels for engine feed. Vent too conservatively and slosh energy is allowed to build. The system continuously balances pressure control, fluid stability, and performance. One of the most subtle advantages of controlled venting is how it improves coordination between fluid behavior and vehicle motion. During changes in pointing direction, the liquid inside the tanks naturally lags behind due to inertia. Venting reduces internal pressure gradients that would otherwise resist this motion. As a result, the liquid follows the vehicle more smoothly. This reduces the magnitude of engine steering corrections required to maintain the desired trajectory. Smaller corrections translate to lower mechanical stress on engine mounts, reduced wear on gimbal actuators, and smoother overall flight dynamics. Slosh mitigation remains critical well beyond ascent. During coasting phases in space, gravity no longer pulls propellant toward the bottom of the tanks. Instead, surface tension and residual accelerations dominate fluid behavior. Without proper management, propellant can break into large floating masses or trap gas near engine inlets. Controlled venting supports propellant settling operations by removing excess vapor and helping liquid respond more predictably to small vehicle motions designed to reposition it. Before any engine restart, the propellant must be in a known and stable configuration. Gas ingestion can lead to combustion instability, reduced thrust, or engine shutdown. Venting helps collapse vapor pockets and maintain the correct pressure at the engine inlets, ensuring that Raptors receive liquid propellant rather than a mixture of gas and liquid. For a vehicle intended to perform multiple burns per mission, including orbital refueling and deep space transfers, this reliability is essential. There is an important trade-off at the heart of this system. Venting does result in propellant loss. However, the quantities involved are small relative to the total load, better engine performance, and higher overall reliability. Losing a small amount of propellant is far preferable to losing control margin or risking mission failure. This type of engineering rarely attracts attention because it lacks visual drama. There are no exhaust plumes or sonic booms associated with venting. Yet, without it, a vehicle as large as Starship would be far more difficult to control. Controlled venting turns a chaotic internal environment into a manageable one, allowing flight computers to operate within predictable limits. Understanding how venting mitigates cryogenic slosh also highlights why Starship represents a new class of spacecraft. Its design integrates structures, propulsion, thermal management, and fluid dynamics into a unified system. Venting is not an afterthought added for safety. It is a fundamental part of how the vehicle maintains stability from liftoff to orbit and beyond. If this explanation helped deepen your understanding of how Starship actually works, make sure to like the video, subscribe to Rocketry, and follow us on Facebook. It directly supports the channel and helps more people discover the real engineering behind spaceflight. There is far more happening inside these vehicles than most people realize, and we'll continue breaking it down in detail, one system at a time.